maybe. Hi, honey. The woman that was living at the trailer, she told us that he had been tied up for a whole month. <gasps> Hi. She let us know that the stray dog had showed up and just didn't leave. So since he didn't leave, she decided to tie him up. He was just starved for attention. His rope was so entangled that we could not slip it off. We did cut the rope off with a knife. Do you have a, just a big knife to cut the rope off? We noticed immediately he was super skinny. He was so excited just to see someone there that was there to help him. Once we loaded him to our vehicle, we drove him straight back to our shelter where he was examined by some of our shelter staff. Him being happy obviously made us both really excited and happy. Get him! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi, honey! Go, oh, silly! I think he was really excited to be <laughs> free and be able to move around. Wow, him doing amazing! Baby. Oscar Meyer was in our shelter for a week or two. And then that's when my coworker Chris fell in love with him, decided to move home and foster him. He's so cute. When I first brought Oscar home, he fit almost immediately in with the family. My big pity boy Simba greeted him. They bonded pretty quickly. It really only took like an hour. He loves life. You wouldn't even know he was abused. Everything seems like a joy to him. He's happy to see me come home. And Oscar learned how to sit. Oscar sits. Oscar's such a good boy. He's just he's a sweet, loving guy. I knew I wanted to adopt Oscar probably after <laughs> a couple weeks. Chris had had Oscar Meyer for a couple of months and she brought him to the shelter and it felt like he was very appreciative. It felt like he knew who I was. <laughs> wow, you're such a handsome boy. It was an awesome feeling. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You're such a handsome boy. Wow. <laughs>